Welcome to my show. I'm East Coast Pete. Have a look at the band D Expus. You know, I'm often asked, Pete, how do you know of all these bands? All these bands that we know he's ever heard of. Well, the truth of the matter is, folks, I do not know about these bands, but I know about the genre and the prog rock genre is what interests me, so I attend to making inquiries about who's out there doing what. And I found out about these guys not too long ago. D Expus is from Northeast England. It's a progressive rock band. Their debut album was released in 2008. It's titled Halfway Home. And critics were enthusiastic. And fans of Prague had yet another group of musicians to further the spirit of the genre. In 2009, the band won the Classic Rock Society's award for Best New Band. Another CD and a DVD was released commemorating their performance at the Prague Rock 2009 Festival in Katowice, Poland, titled Far From Home. In 2011, we saw their second studio album, The King of Number 33, featuring Mark Kelly of Marillion on keyboards, Andy Ditchfield, and Nick Kershaw contributed vocals and d Express is difficult to categorize, but they can be compared to the music of Marillion, Dream Theater, Porcupine Tree, Spock's Beard, and Frost. And when I say Frost, I mean Frost with an asterisk. Here are the current members of d Express. Andy Ditchfield on guitars, keyboards, and vocals. Henry Rogers on drums. Mike McChrystal on guitar. Mike Vardy on keyboards. David Anderson on bass. And a former member was Tony Wright, and he used to be their singer. And another former member was John Dawson on bass. I'm not sure what happened to him. Andy Ditchfield composed and recorded the album Halfway Home before there was a band for the tour. This seems to happen this way these days. Tony Wright provided vocals. Since the music was so well received, Ditchfield scrambled to find musicians to reproduce his music live. This is a project that is still evolving as prog bands often will. Here are the tracks on Halfway Home. One, Greed. A guitar arpeggio leads to a thunderous riff. Knives, thievery, villainy. So, this is all one musician, multi-tracked, changing time signatures are what, programmed? These are original organic drums. No worries there. I know some of you don't really care for canned drum beats. I like a canned drum beat every now and then. It goes good with um, port wine. So, two, pointless child. Medium metal, hard rock, drums, cool bass line chose a good vocalist, real good voice, thanks for not barking like a dog. I like this song. Let me talk about that barking like a dog thing. Okay, so I'm looking at more and more uh, heavy metal bands, um, folk metal especially, and I'm getting to the point where I don't mind the barking dogs as much as I used to. I don't know what it is. I think it's growing on me a little bit, so <laughs> I'm not going to uh, put these guys down for not barking like a dog. I'm just going to say that they don't do it. And 
chances are the next band I review might do it, so don't expect East Coast Pete to come down about that, because it's a thing, growling. Next track is PTT, only found live on recorded quality, was not up to snuff. Got to see what the band looks like though. Andy Ditchfield is young. The rest of the band could pass for a biker club. <laughs> I found the studio version much better sounds to it. Um, number four, one, eight. A gentle piano driven rock story song. It has something to do with a deserted gas station. The song turns to hard rock. Now electric guitar driven. The guitar leads are not annoying. They are melodic. More about that. You know, I'm always complaining about noodling. What I call noodling is when a guitar lead turns into something that has nothing whatsoever to do with the music. I'm not saying it's not in the same key, or I'm not saying it's not in the same uh, meter, I'm, I'm just saying that the story that the guitarist is presenting doesn't seem to have anything to do with the lyrics or the mood of the song. That's noodling. And these guys don't do that, so I give them credit. Five, one day piano and Spanish guitar intro leads into a waltz that's three-quarter time such a nice time signature it swings these songs are about day-to-day -day occurrences made lush by the arrangements and Prague here is for the common man that's that's me I'm the common man six seven nights Staring out to sea, I could be wrong or we should stay far too long. Who is Mary? This is all generally four chord rock. I really like Nick Kershaw's voice. It's just right for the music and the guitar is excellent. Seven, Halfway Home. This one's about suicide, a tribute only halfway home. I get it. And then I'm gonna skip ahead. 10 years later, fans are still waiting for studio album number three, which has been promised. The downside of creating an album top to bottom as a multi-instrumentalist and then locating musicians to go on tour is that when the tour ends, the musicians go off to their own projects and lives. The Expos is no garage band. Killing time and hanging out. Prague is big business and that sometimes provides for a lack of solidarity. Or not. Thank you for being with me. Uh, next show I'm going to talk about another band whom I consider to have saved rock. Just like DX Bus, we're going to have a look at Catatonia. I'll see you then. Be very well. <laughs>